Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, we're out in the pole barn today, and now that um, I have concrete, I have to enclose the bottoms of my walls. You see right there the insulation. If you remember in the past um, videos, I had to leave those out so the concrete guys could get the concrete back in there. Hey, come on in. Welcome to my coop. I always wanted to say that. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life, I'm crazy, I'm bad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you, better go live it up. Cash in the bag, stadium pack. Baby, I'm bad. Yeah. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder, cause they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that, stay back. I'll be swinging. <laughs> oh boy as you can see I have gotten the corner here so when my boys came over they were able to help me get this compressor in here because I'm telling you what that is, a, that is a heavy heavy son of a gun put it nice so I, what I done was I went ahead and pre-painted those before I installed them that way I don't have to worry about trying to get back there to back there to paint them so now I'm about to go through and move everything back away so I just I basically just brought the big stuff back in from underneath the carport but I need to go through pull the stuff back and I bought one of the or a couple of these moving dollies well I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a jig that basically will cover and have a little lip here and a little lip here just to put place a piece of board on top that way when i go to put it the legs on it i can sit the leg directly on top of the two of these and i'll shift it especially this big guy here this big guy here is it's a goliath i mean it's it's a heavy table and my goal is, is to keep as much stuff off the ground as possible so i'm not finding myself picking a lot of stuff up I could let the pups in here without having to worry about them getting a hold of a lot of my stuff. Because they were a couple little thieves. I guess I even got my futon in here. Slash couch. I don't think I'm going to be sleeping in here. Nobody here to really put me in a doghouse. So it is a little chill spot. Kind of sit back and relax. You know what I mean? Cause of the decline for you know, water. I was having a lot of trouble getting those slopes cut just right for angles so i'm gonna try this fella here got it from harbor freight it's like a clamp down it, i'm kind of gonna try to use it as like a basically kind of like a track sole but it's not a track sole but it's supposed to be able to do angles and they'll clamp it down we'll see how good it works i really hope it works out well if it can grip a hold of the osb good to let me glide the circular sole down it it should work pretty pretty good I'm hoping that's in theory. Hope that'll speed things along a little bit. This is not the fun part because this is what really hurts my back. But got to get this done before I can push, you know, make a final and push everything up against the walls. And so yeah, I'm gonna get everything set up, guys, and I'll see you guys on the tripod. Mm -hmm. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious and panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness
this walled complete. It's a pain trying to get the angle just right. And remember, a lot of this is temporary because the 2x2s two on the bottom, as I stated before, is basically just a substitute for 2x4s because they're just too pricey right now. And I figured this will do the trick. I mean, even these walls, the way it was engineered, I mean, they even budge. You know, and these guys down here, I mean, as you can see, this one right here is my first one trying to figure out how much distance I need to make for the circular sole. So I'm hoping I can wash that off, you know, wipe it up or whatever. So, yeah, some of them fit really, really tight, and I started kind of getting it a little bit, and then... There's a couple areas there again. I don't I try to be transparent with you guys and not make it that not make it look like everything's hunky dory all the time because it's not. But as you see, there's like a little bit more of a gap underneath that one, and then it gets tighter, and then but I'm trying my best. That if you see that little piece sticking out right there, it's because there's no middle brace going from the very bottom. I'm just gonna call it the bottom plate up to the second, um, I'll just call that a stud, or just horizontal. But there's no brace there, so that doesn't help matters. That's the first one, that's the first one that did that though. And then I had started back here, I'm about to move everything off this wall. I had to get that middle plate, so to speak, on. And I mean, these, might, these probably will last forever, honestly. It's probably not a big deal. The big deal is going to be painting these when I get them on the concrete. I'm not a good painter at all. This track here, I mean, it works good. I mean, it's doing the job. But for one, I'm not great with a circular saw. And plus, this is a cheap circular saw. So those combinations alone probably play a big part as to why I'm, they're not perfect. I do need to get more screws because I'm running low on screws. So right now I'm just basically punching a couple, you know, one on each corner and then one in the middle for now. So that will help. And another thing I'm going to show you guys too there, again, I just try to be transparent with you guys. If you guys look down the wall, you can almost see where, you guys might be able to see it great. I don't know. I won't know until I edit this video, but I see it horribly. Where the wall kind of like bows way out really bad right there i'm not sure what the deal is with that the only thing i can figure is with that is where the two four foot pieces have no middle brace they're wanting to bow in a little bit it may not be big real noticeable i'm hoping not when i get my workbenches pushed back up against them and i'm hoping not but even myself knowing they're like that i just can't stand that i guess that's my the ocd in me i guess Trying to, like I said, I, I try to show you guys. I know not everything's all hunky dory all the time. It's not. I mean, you always have to try to figure out ways to combat issues and problems. You know, to make it look decent, whatever you're building or making or constructing. And it's just one of those things. But I've got that wall complete. As for putting the wall up, I still need to paint it. I'm just going to continue to work my way around. I'm not to worry about recording all that stuff, guys. I mean. I don't want to bore, bore you guys to death, but I do appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned, and I will get back with you and show you guys when the walls are complete, building-wise anyway. All right, guys, last and final piece for the wall coverings, and the wall covering will be done. After I'd save it and show you guys the monumental occasion. It's funny how towards the end of something you, you finally start to figure it out, you know what I mean? But don't get nothing to fall on my head. I'll tell you what, I lucked out. I mean, I have maybe one more piece of like, I would say 20 by 4 foot OSB left. Excuse me, I gotta go between your guys' legs real fast and my mouth. Lift this end up a tad.
It's not perfect by any means, guys. I mean, I tried. I trust me, I tried. There's little gaps here and there between the, the two. And I thought I'd try and take some kind of wood filler or something, but I'm not even sure if it's worth it or not, to be honest with you. Oh, man. It's all completed. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Don't make me break out the airsoft gun. Oh, man. Tell you what, you little guys are stubborn. Hennifer, for some reason, you'd love to go back in there. Go, girl. Go. Oh, boy, here comes Rody. Rody's definitely not scared of me. Anyway, guys, I'm going to call for the end of this video. Next, we'll be dealing with shelving and organization. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see you guys for the next one. I love you guys. Peace out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until the next one, I'm out. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just want to get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm bad.